All right, so I'm going to talk you through some of the stuff just so that everyone knows what's going on. So obviously, in fighting games, you've got to move forward and back. So, you know, moving forward and back actually helps. So, you know, you can move forward like this and you can hold back like this. So obviously, move forward when you want to try and advance. Press that back when you want to try and create a distance from your opponent if you're getting rushed down. And then on top of it, you've got stuff like crouching. So crouching is when like you want to protect yourself from getting hit low. So you, you press down back to block and duck. You press down if you're crouching, but that won't make you duck. If you press down forward, that won't make you block either. Crouching helps you to avoid like attacks that are like high. So yeah, just be careful. Now we've got other things now that's a bit more advanced. So we've got stuff like, you know, tap forward to dash or back steps or back dash would be, see they call it back step, but I call it back dash like this and then you got back step so this is to create space now it says you will continue to dash for as long as you hold the second input so the dash is i call running <laughs> you know when you dash it's just quick dashes but i call that movement running so you just double tap forward and hold that's for your that's for you to start your aggressive game whether you're gonna jump hop and all the other stuff, but I'll tell you later on what that means. And it says you will continue to dash for as long as you hold the second the second forward input. Dash dash are faster than regular forward movement, letting you close in on your opponent quickly. Conversely, use back step to get away from your opponent. So that's it, you know, if you're trying to get away from stuff and trying to create space, you can back dash. Let me show you. So look, so they're teaching me how to jump here. Look. Some characters have better, better back steps, back dashes than others. Let's see, this is jump. So you jump when you want to get in on your opponent. So if you want to do jumping, kick, jump kick or jump punch, then you do stuff like that. So a hop is like a tap. So that's a, that's a hop. Can you see how the jumps are different? That's how it is. So like, let me show you. You crouch briefly, then then press up. So while dashing, tap up to perform hyper hop. So we can say, I still want to do this one. Cause I feel like they should explain it a bit more on what why you would use the quick hop. The quick hop or the hyper hop as they say is basically so that you can jump lower on the opponent and do your attacks. Ready, go. Like that. And that works. While dashing tap up forward to perform hyper hop. Yeah, see they didn't really explain it, so I'm here to explain it for you and make you understand of where it is. Hyper jump is you tap down back, down, down forward briefly, then input up forward or up back to do hyper jump. Ready, go. So again, same same sort of thing. You could do it while dashing as well. It's just like if you're trying to like get in on your opponent. And then to guard against attacks, you hold back. So this is a standard in most fighting games unless you've got a guard button. So you know, if someone's trying to rush you down or try to do stuff, you can either stand up and block or you crouch and block. Stand guard to the, can defend against round and jump attacks, but not against low attacks like crouching, crouching uh, kick. So when people jump, some people could do a thing called empty jump. So empty. So what empty jump is, is it basically that like when you jump up and then you don't do a jumping attack, you kind of jump up, go on the ground, then do a low because it confuses your opponent to think that you're going to do a jumping attack. But you stand up and then oh you get hit with a low and then you get comboed. So this is says crouching guard can defend against most ground attacks, but not against jump attacks or some mid attacks with special hitboxes. Keep an eye on your opponent and you standing a crouching guards accordingly. Basically like what I said. And then also we have guard crush. So obviously you see you see where my green bar is or turquoise as you call it, the bar there? Just underneath you have a blue bar which says guard. So, you, you can get guard crush, which leaves you open for a period of time for you to get attack, attacked. So I say, uh, guarding attacks reduce the blue the blue guard the blue guard guard uh, um, at the top of the screen. An empty guard will co will cause or empty guard causes a a guard crush, leaving the character temporarily open. Try inflicting guard crush on your opponent. Okay. Ready? So as you can see, they do that type of thing. So it says, 
Your opponent is defenseless during a guard crush, unable to move or guard. This is the perfect time to deal with significant damage. So stun, inflicting consecutive attacks on the opponent will cause a color of their face icon to change, putting them in a warning state. Dealing more attacks to inflict stun, leaving them temporarily defenseless. So I just want to say something about this. So you see the stun in this game. The stun in this game is not like most other fighting games. The stun in this game takes a lot of attacks before you get stunned. So it's not like a game like, you know, Street Fighter or, or any of those type of other 2D games. This is like a lot of attacks. So it's like you don't really see stun unless you're just not holding back to block. Look, as you can see. And then they get stunned. When stunned, you can recover more quickly by mashing the directional or attack buttons. So that's if you get put in the stun state. So to perform emergency evasion, uh, you have to press punch and kick. So you could do it th this way. Like that. So you could do emergency evasion backwards and forwards. So just exactly like that. Emergency evasion lets you evade all attacks except throws. However, you will be left open after. So think carefully before using it. So recovery is basically when you're getting hit and you're getting knocked down. So you're going on your back. You can basically recover without having to touch the floor and be laid out. So like that. Staying on the ground leaves you open for, to follow up attacks. So use recovery to get back on your feet quickly. Be careful though, because there are people that have setups for when you do like qu quick, uh, quick get ups and stuff like that. Or should I say tech roll? There are people that have some setups to tech roll, trust me. Um, GC emergency evasion. To perform a guard cancel emergency evasion while guarding against the opponent's attack, press punch or kick uh, or forward punch or kick for guard cancel, uh, guard cancel back emergency evasion while no, sorry, orb do. Okay, so for guard cancel back emergency evasion while guarding against opponent, press back and punch and kick. So it's light punch and light kick or A, A and A and A and B. But it takes a bar. I'm trying to make him come to me to hit, go on. Guard cancel emergency evasion consumes one block of the of the power gauge, but allows you to escape from a guard position safely. So use it safe. Don't don't, don't be like just throwing that out and taking the bar because that, that is a lot. So we have guard cancel blowback. To perform a guard cancel blowback while guarding against an opponent's attack, press back, down back, or up back and C or D so or that strong punch strong kick Ready, go. so like that guard cancel blowback is a defensive technique that consumes one block of power guard to counter attack safely from a guard position so I think this one is a lot more better than the roll to be fair but then if your back is against the wall then you can kind of tech roll forward so yeah I hope that explains all of the basic stuff. We're now going to get onto the more technical stuff. All right, so we're now going to get onto the more technical side of things. That was the basics. We're going to get onto the more technical side of things. I'm just going to show you some stuff and let you know what is what. So light attacks, light attacks deal with little damage, but don't leave you very open. So the light attacks are quite fast. So, you know, if we talk about the light punch, Complete. quite fast. Complete. Very, very fast. And then sudden light kick. They're, they're quite quick. But there's a reason why you lot need to learn. Like, why these are so good. You don't get punished a lot. You know, you don't get punished a lot for stuff. But here's some of the big attacks. It's a strong punch. Look how much recovery is on these. See, these, these attacks are a lot more slower. Now let's move on to the next one. So press strong punch, strong kick to perform blowback. 
Go back, do a lot of damage, and knock opponent back when they're on hit. So this knocks them to the wall, and then you can run, and then do the rest. Landing a ground blow back will let you perform a follow-up attack on your opponent as they fly through the air. So usually you just run after them and then you can do what you're doing. When you have one or more bar, uh, power guard blocks, uh, perform a quarter, a quarter circle motion, punch, strong punch, a strong kick and do shatter strike. So this is, shatter strike is the new mechanic that they have in this game. So shatter strike, you can use for, you know, absorbing attacks and then you know stunning your opponent and stuff so it's pretty cool so like that they, and then you could continue on the combo shot strike is, is a counter attack initiated when while guarding against an attack attacking an opponent so someone that's rushing you down this is what it's used for landing one renders them defenseless letting you perform a follow-up attack read your opponent and try to turn the tables so the command move. So by pressing combination of directional and attack buttons, you can make it some characters perform command moves. So I just want to talk to you about it because it's probably not going to show you everything. So usually go to command list. Command list is where it shows you all the moves. So I'm, I'm going to break it down to you so you actually understand properly. So command moves. So you got the normal standard kind of like unique moves that most characters have. You know, you've kind of got the light punch, light kick, strong punch, strong kick. That's generic to everyone. They all have their own different ones of those, but that's it. But then you also have moves that are like unique moves. So like, you know, they probably require forward kick, forward light kick, forward light punch, or it would, you know, usually be, they, or they've got target combos. So as you can see here, there's target combos here. Uh, you've got pressing standing C or standing strong punch uh, from a distance. You can do two of those. And, you know, he's got ground hammer which is forward light punch, uh, sky sky axe, which is forward uh, light kick. So he has those moves. And then he has the command moves, like, which they call um, special moves. So the special moves are these. And then you've got an icon list as well. So these icon lists, as you can see, the blue one where it says in the air. And then there's another one that says close by air, in air, in the corner. So if it's like a jump off the wall, press repeatedly. So there's loads of different things. EX requires like bar. So if you have like a bit of me, if you have meter, then it requires meter to do these moves as well. So that if you're not seeing EX, I think it where is that? That's exactly what it means. And then you've got other things as well, like you know, use max mode. We're gonna get into that bit later. And yeah, there's just various other things. Hold and release means you hold a button down, and then you just release it. So yeah, we're gonna. So then he's got super special moves. So super special moves require one one bar or possibly two bars, depending on if you are doing the second the second version of the, the move so you got what you get two versions you get the, the super special and then you get the the next one I, i'll show you afterwards and then you get climax super special moves that re that require three bars so usually what people do is they kind of like hold on to meter unless they actually really need it i think climax is very good for coming back uh if you've got an anchor character but we're going to talk about all of that later on and then you got the normal throws. So every character has a generic throw, which is, you know, forward strong punch or forward strong kick. You have to be close to your opponent. So this is what the icon means when it says you have to be close to your opponent. So you press forward and the button. So yeah, let's get into the commands. So that's his step in the elbow. That's his, that's his other unique move. Command moves include sliding low attacks and also mid attacks that can't be blocked by crouching guards. For a list of these moves, check the moves list. So I just showed you, I went through all of the moves list to kind of show you exactly what I meant by that. And then next to opponent on guard, you press forward or back throw. Um, forward or strong punch or back and strong punch. Or you can press forward and strong kick or back and strong kick. So let's see if this works. Right. So I do, I'm pressing back and doing that. And then I could do forward strong punch. And then, same thing. Throws can't be guarded against. Aim for a throw to break an opponent's guard. Some characters also air throw to you, uh, air throw for use against airborne opponents. Usually, you use a throw if you know someone's just blocking attacks and you think, oh yeah, you know, I need to get in and I need to break their defense. If someone sees a throw, you you then have to get up and then defend. So it's like, is he going to do another throw again? Is he not going to do another throw again? And that's where the mix-ups are. 
counter a throw. So if you know you're going to be thrown by an opponent, you can guard with a counter throw. The perform one, when you're from press back or forward, strong punch or strong kick. I, I tried to then. <laughs> Hold on one second. There we go. Counter throws do not work against air throws or command throws. Command throws are special moves specific to certain characters. So that's like Clark. Clark has the big throw. And we have certain other characters, King of Dinosaurs and stuff like that. If you land a blow before the opponent's attack and the mission ends, a counter hit will occur. Increasing the damage. So like, you know, if someone does it, they're about to throw an attack and you hit them, then that would be a counter. So there we go. Moreover, some skills allow allow you to follow up when you land a counter against an airborne opponent. Try landing a counter. Like try landing an attack on an opponent performing a hyper hop attack. What am I trying to do? There we go. Countering command moves or higher triggers a counter hit. However, they do not trigger against regular moves. Unless you successfully attack an opponent before performing a hop or a hyper hop attack. Okay, cool. So, when you have two or more uh, power guards, press, press a strong punch and light kick to activate max mode. In max mode, characters attack and guard crush increase and uh, strength increases. While in max mode, the mode guard slowly drains from 100% and ends in ends ends it at uh, and it and ends when it reaches zero percent. But the thing is, you can also cancel as well. I don't know if they're going to tell you this. You can actually cancel with the max mode. So okay, max mode quick. Activate max mode upon landing a regular attack or command command move will activate max mode quick. This also works when the attack's being blocked. Max mode quick allows you to combo immediately into the the next action without leaving leaving an opening but be warned while activating or when activating the quick version attack and guard crush strength do, do not increase so activating the quick version consumes the max mode guard more than a regular one however you could ca you cancel your previous attack into another one use it to keep attacking or to string moves together more easily so this is like very easy it, i feel like this is an easier version of what was in the previous KOS. but i've been explaining that all to you afterwards anyways i'm going to do like a roundup on overall approach your opponent and tap punch repeatedly to start a rush to start a rush which allows you to easily perform a single button combo take a do so that's your single button combo Rush allows you to continue attacks regardless of the attack button you press. So this is for people that are not so familiar with the game. I feel like you lot should be watching this part because this is this is for you. If you activate rush when you have one one or more power guards, your attack will vary will vary based on the fourth attack button pressed. So let's try this out. So I know about this one already. So it's like you could do light punch, light punch, light punch, light kick, and it will do a different thing. And then light punch, light punch. Light punch, light punch. And, that, and if you do, if you do heavy kick, it gives you the two bar. If you do one, 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 when you got three bars, it will do this. A special move will trigger if the fourth input is light kick. Um. A a so they say a special move will trigger if it's a uh, light kick, a, a super special move if it's strong punch, and a max super special move if it's a uh, strong kick. Two power guards is required. When you use light punch, so if it's like all four light punches, you activate the strongest attack available according to what your bar is. So say for example, my bar is two now, I'm probably going to get like a level, two. I'm not even probably, I will get a level two instead of a level one uh, super, super special move. Alright, so 
Pressing a set of direction buttons and attack buttons simultaneously activates character special moves. The properties of the special move varies depending on the attack button strength. So they're gonna try some moves we could do. So like, that's one of these special moves. So if we do a light one, it will be different than if you do a strong one. So if, like that was quarter circle back light punch and quarter circle back strong punch. So if I do quarter circle back strong punch, it will have it will either have different properties in. And it could vary from if it's pushback, if it knocks you up in the air more, or it could vary from if it, like, you know, he covers more distance. So it, it just varies. So, here okay, it says a special, a special move, strength, speed, distance, uh, tra trajectory, and properties will change depending on the strength of the attack button you use. View the command list in training mode to try them all out. Okay, then we've got EX special moves are powered uh, are powered out special moves. They are performed in max mode and consume a small amount of the mode's gauge. Right away, one of the uh, uh, to, well, I'm gonna tell you something about. It. So you don't need a max mode, but max mode will give you the whole kind of duration of the bar, and you can just keep doing EX moves from that way, or you can have bar like how I have now and then use it. So it doesn't. You don't have to be in max mode, but being in max mode. You can do it as well, but I think max mode. If you if you if you use a max mode raw, you'll be able to use a lot more ex moves. I'll show you afterwards, anyways. So ex special moves are powered up special. Uh, ex special moves are powered up special moves. They are performed in max mode and consume a small amount of the mode got a mode scourge. Um, to activate one one outside of max mode, you could use one of one one half of the power gauge. So as you can see, it's, it's not really worth it when you can. You'll see anyways, let me show you. So like... Look how much of the bar is used. So it's entirely up to you, it's entirely up to you how you want to do it. But then obviously maximum takes two bars. But most, more time people just use it in combos where they do it that way to be fair. Super special moves are powerful special moves as act activated with special... With, well, sorry. This writing is so squished. That is so hard for me to seize. Uh, super special, super special moves are powerful special moves activated with specific command inputs. They require and consume one block of the power guard. So suffer like this. Trigger during max mode by consuming part of the max mode guard. Like special moves, some super special moves change depending on the strength of the attack button used. Max super special moves are powerful super special moves activated with specific command inputs. They require and consume two blocks of power guards. So you gotta use two buttons. So, you, for example, you would have to use light punch and light uh, light punch and strong punch, or light kick and strong kick. And then they glow red. Every character glows red. So when you do a one by one, you glow, you glow blue. When you do a two by one, you glow red. And a climax, which is level three, you glow yellow. That's how it goes. Trigger during max mode by consuming part of your max mode and one block of the power guard, granting you, you granting you more attack power, invisibility frames, etc. Than a super special move. Alright, cool. So we've got Climax Super Special Moves. So Climax Super Special Moves are ultimate special moves activated with specific command inputs. They require consume they require and consume three blocks of the power gauge. Or gauge. Uh we could do this one here. <laughs> it didn't touch them. Trigger during max mode by consuming your remaining max mode gauge and one power guard useful to finish a combo or turn the tide of combat so this is like a very good like comeback mechanic super castles using super special move command inputs during set special moves will activate a super cancel this this lets you cancel a special move into a super special move so it's like basically cancelling if you play the game so like we'll do like that 
Use super cancels active actively and often to bolster your combo damage. Yeah, sorry about this. You know the words are kind of so squished, so I just have to. And I've got like a, I got like a 27 inch monitor, so it's like I'm looking at the text. It just looks squished. So yeah, I apologize if I mess up with some of the words. Advanced cancels using max super special move command inputs during specific super special move uh, will activate an advanced cancel. This lets you cancel out of a super special move and into a max super special move. Ready, go. So. Allow me to do it. Hmm. Oh, sorry, my bad. All right, there we go. You can't advance cancel between the same move. So it has to be like the two buttons instead. So it's like, say for example, if you've got like quarter circle, like his super special move is quarter circle forward times two and light punch or strong punch. If you want to cancel into the, the the max super special move, you have to do quarter circle forward times two and do both punch, both like both kicks. Cause that's, that's the command for the other combo that you're trying to, well, super, you see the, the tongue ties are so funny. So it's like super special move. Like, I'm kind of like an old SNK player where we call them super desperation moves, but they call them here max super special moves. So I'm trying to get used to the terminology that they use in this. But yeah, so if you want to cancel to max super special move, you're going to have to use both buttons after what you've done, the normal super special move. I hope that helps. So climax cancels. Use a climax super special move Use a climax super special move command inputs. So like when you're talking to your friends and stuff like that, we, we don't say climax super special move. We just say climax, climax move. So climax super special move command inputs during set super special moves or max super special moves will activate a climax cancel, letting you cancel out of a super special move slash max super special move into a climax super special move. It's just a tongue twister. <laughs> just, it's just such a tongue twister. So like I could do. Use climax cancels to inflict lethal damage on the opponent. Perfect for when you lose, you're, you're on your last leg, so never give up. So yeah, this is basically just to kind of like help you with what you're doing. Simmer down, sim, 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 sim now. Couple kicks to your boat. I'm a winner now. Like Eddie with the feet, I'm a killer now. Killer now. Killer now. Simmer down. Simmer now.